welcome to the Sign Club Company Sign Language class. We want to invite you in to learn sign language with all of our friends so that we can communicate with the deaf in our community. All right, you guys ready? All right. Look at me and say hello. Look at me and say hello. Look at me and say hello. Good afternoon to my friends. Good afternoon, my friends. It's good to see you all. Today, we're going to learn some signs to help if you see a deaf friend out in the community that's in an emergency. So today, we're going to learn some emergency signs. You guys ready? Okay. First sign, most important, help. Okay, one hand, your 10 hand shape, flat hand underneath, pushing it up. Okay, from you to me, help me, from me to you, help you. Okay, help. Second, police, make a C hand shape. Cross your body, outline the badge like a cop wears right across your body. Good. Cop. Next, firemen. There's a few signs for firemen that we're going to do today. One of them, like a B hand shape, right on your forehead. Like a fireman's cap, the badge that he wears. Yeah? There's another one where you poke your head like this, make a badge. Fireman. Okay? So in an emergency, someone needs fire, needs a fireman, fireman. Good. Okay? We'll review the others. Help. Cop. Fireman. Good job. Okay. Next today, medical. If someone needs medical help, like you're taking your pulse, slip your hand over. Three fingers, take your pulse. Medical. This will work for doctor and nurse and medical. All three. Okay? Medical. Next, hospital. Two fingers you're going to draw across on your shoulder, across your body, right. Good job. Hospital. Good. We'll review. Ready? Help. Police. Fireman. Medical. Hospital. Good job. Next, hurt. Two fingers. Hurt. Same sign for pain. If it's severe pain, like this. And most important part of signing pain is what? Your face. That's right, face. So you're going to show pain on your face. Ooh, hurts. Okay? So if your head hurts, you do it up here. If your stomach hurts, you do it here. If your knee hurts, you do it here. Good. Hurt. Yes, ma'am. What if um, your arm hurts? You can't really go like that. That's right. That is a little awkward. That's a good question. She asked, what if your arm is hurt? You can point to your arm where it hurts and then sign hurt. That's a good question. Good, because that's a little awkward to do that. Right. Okay? Hurt. Next, we're going to do two different signs. The first one we're going to do telephone, right? And this changes with new technology. Sometimes we still hold to our ear and our mouth, right, phone? But the deaf use a different kind of phone, a video phone. And this is that sign. Two quacking ducks, one going one direction, one the other. Video phone. Good. Video phone, telephone. Good job. Next, the most important sign ever. Make a T. Shake it. Bathroom. Most important sign. If you urgently need to go to the bathroom, what do you do? That's right. Facial expression. Very important. Bathroom. Good. And our W word for today. Where? Where? If it's a question, going to be on your face. Can you show me your question face? Where? Good. 
So you can sign bathroom where? Good. Telephone where? Good job, you guys. Good. Deaf applause. Yay. Okay, let's review them really fast. First, help. You help me. I help you. Good. Help. Next, cop. Good. Fireman. Medical. Hospital. Hurt. Telephone. Video phone. Most important. Bathroom. Good. Where? Good job. Good job. Ten new signs today. Would one of you like to come up with a sentence using some of our vocabulary today? Okay, Miss Megan, can you give us a sentence? Good question. Who can interpret that sentence for us? Yes, ma'am. Where's the telephone? <gasps> Wonderful. Where's the telephone? Good job. Deaf applause. Good job, Megan. Okay, who's next? Mr. Brody. <gasps> Good one. Most important one. What did he say? Who can interpret? Yes, Mr. Linda. Good. Where's the bathroom? Most important. Good. All right. Other sentences? Yes, ma'am. Good. Interpret. Who wants to interpret? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my head hurts. Okay. Head hurts. And? Can I help you? Good. Good. Can I help you with a hurting head? Good question. Good. Another one? Yes, ma'am. Good. What did she say? Yes, Brody. Hospital bathroom. Oh, you're very close. Hospital. Where? Where? Excellent. Good job. Where is the hospital? And that could be very important, right? To know where the hospital is. Good. Other question? Y'all created some wonderful sentences. I'm very proud of you. Good job. Deaf applause. Good. Okay. Let's try a facial expression song. Ready? You want to do our happy and you know it song? Y'all ready? Okay. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face is gonna show it. Happy faces? Good. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're sad, and you know it, rub your eyes. If you're sad and you know it, rub your eyes. If you're sad and you know it, then your face is going to show it. Sad faces. If you're sad and you know it, rub your eyes. If you're tired and you know it, go to sleep. If you're tired and you know it, go to sleep. If you're tired and you know it, then your face is gonna show it. If you're tired and you know it, go to sleep. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face is going to show it. Happy faces. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good job, you guys. Good. I'm so proud of you. Happy faces. Now remember, most important when you sign is what? Your facial expression. That's right. So can you sign happy with a sad face? No. Why? Yes, ma'am. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. That's right. Your face says sad and your hands say happy. 
That's kind of weird. So you want them to match. Base and sign match. Good job. Okay, let's review our vocabulary really fast. You ready? Help. Good. Help. I help you. You help me. Good job. Police. Good. Police. Fireman. Good. Medical. Good job. Hospital. Excellent. Hurt. Now, is this one, when you sign it, you're going to smile? No. No. Not fun to hurt, is it? Right. Hurt. Telephone. Video phone. Most important. Right, bathroom. And where is it? Where is that bathroom? Good job, you guys. Yay. Good. All right, you ready for a stand-up sit-down song? Oh, listen and stand up. Oh, listen and sit down. Stand up, everyone, please. Spin around. Now sit down. Good, good job. Okay, let's try it again. This time, I'm gonna turn off my voice. Ready? Good job, good job. Okay, let's try it again. You ready? Let's see who's the best listener. Ready? Logan's ready. <laughs> Y'all ready? How oh, good! I didn't catch any of you. You're a good listener. It's wonderful. Okay. Ready? Who's the best listener? Good job, you guys. Good job, deaf applause. Good, we were landing out. Good, 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 good. All right, review, ready? Help. Help. Policeman. Fireman. Hospital. Medical. Medical. Hurt. Hurt. Telephone. Good. Um, Bless you. Video phone. Video phone. Where? Bathroom. Bathroom. Excellent, you guys. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys, for coming today to our class. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are really impacting our community. You guys are sharing all of your knowledge and all of your skills with our community and you're teaching them how to communicate with our deaf friends. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are changing the world. Good for you. Hey, did you hear about JoJo? He got arrested for dealing drugs. No, he didn't. Not JoJo. Or he just got expelled. No, he, he gave Priscilla some aspirin for a headache and then he got called down to the office. Apparently that's dealing drugs now. Hey, that's not fair. You guys are talking, but I don't know what you're saying. You might have trouble understanding me, but if you knew sign language, we could have some great talks. I like dogs. What do you like? My ears are different, 
my mind is the same. Get to know me at the Sign Club Company of Hendersonville. I want to be your friend. Welcome to the Sign Club Company Sign Language class. We want to invite you to join us as we learn more signs so that we can communicate with the deaf in our community. Hey you guys, are you ready? Let's do our good afternoon song. Look at me and say hello. Look at me and say hello. Look at me and say hello. Good afternoon to my friends. Good afternoon, my friends. It's good to see you all. Today, we're going to learn some signs that are in our communities, places that are important to all of us. You ready? First, most important for all of us in here, the sign for school. Good, school. A long time ago, teachers would call attention in the class by slapping their hands. I think that's where the sign came from. School. Good. For a few of our friends in here, school's over and they've gone to higher learning. College. College. Good. College. Next are churches. One hand to fist, one hand to seat. The C on top of your fist. That fist represents a rock. Church. Yes, ma'am. When you do church, do you circle the C? That is a good question. Circle on a C, circle C on a fist is chocolate. So we need to be careful not to swirl it. That's a good question, Sophie. So church sticks on the rock. Chocolate swirls on the rock. Good. Church. Another important place in our community, library. Make an L and a big circle. Library. Good. Next, grocery store. A place where we all go at least once a week, right? Grocery store. Food? Store. Good. Store reminds me of a door with the bells on them. When you open the door and it goes ding, 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 right? That's what helps me to remember that sign. Store. Good. Grocery store. The next sign is a sign that we use in our area for Walmart. That's a place that we go often, right? Walmart. Special for our area. A W and an M. And it often is fast and it's signed like this. Walmart. Okay, but that's where it comes from. W, M. Good. Let's review so far. You ready? First, school. College. Good. Church. Church. Library. Library. Grocery, Grocery store. store. Walmart. Good job, you guys. Next, with an R, restaurant. Restaurant. And I remember that sign because it's a place that you eat. Restaurant. Good. Now, many of you have signed this in school with a C for cafeteria. cafeteria. Good job, Landon. Cafeteria with an R, restaurant. Good. Gas station. Good. The gas nozzle, pouring it in the tank. Now, many of you may not be driving right now, but you know what that means, right? A gas station. Gas into the tank. Now, we have two signs I want to teach you guys that are places special for our area. The first one is Hendersonville. The sign that we have for this place that we live here, H. 
B. Good. Hendersonville. Good. Now some of you may live in Gallatin. Gallatin. Good. So make a G. And Gallatin is the green wave. Gallatin. Good. Let's review. You ready? School. School. College. Church. Church. Library. Library. Grocery, Grocery store. store. Walmart. Walmart. Restaurant, cafeteria, cafeteria. Gas, station. gas station, Hendersonville, Gallatin. Gallatin. Good job, you guys. Deaf applause. Excellent. Good. Very good. Okay. Now, our last class, we learned a W word. Question. Where? Where? Good. So that sign's going to apply to today, right? Where is the library? Where is the school? Right? We're going to add one more W word to that so that you can ask a question. When? When? And I remember this like you're trying to peg a point in time. When? When? Good job. When? Excellent. When and where. Okay, so let's try a sentence. Ready? Tell me what I'm saying. Yes, ma'am. Um, where is the college? That's right. Good job. Where is the college? Excellent. Okay, another one. Ready? Yes, Logan? Where is the library? Excellent. Where is the library? Good job. Good job. Next one. Yes, Landon. Where is Hendersonville? Very close. Very close. Hendersonville's right. Brody. When? When are we going to meet in Hendersonville? That's great. Yes, Harper. Gas station. Where's the gas station? That's right. Excellent. You put that in English. That's wonderful. The gas station is where our ASL grammar. And in English, we say, where is the gas station. Great job. Deaf applause. Good job, you guys. Good. Let's add some of our signs from our last class. You want to? Yeah? We'll challenge you. Okay? Brody. Where is uh, where <laughs> okay. Maggie, can you help us? Help. Where is the library? Excellent. Good. Can you help me? Where is the library? Good. Brody. Where's the police station? Good. Where's the police? That's right. Good. Landon. You're very close. You're very close, Maggie. When do I call? That's right. Telephone when. When are you going to call? That's right. Good job. Deaf applause, you guys. That was great. We'll review those one more time. Ready? Grocery store, Walmart, good. Restaurant, cafeteria, good. Gallatin, good, good, good. Now, how do you know the difference between Gallatin and Gallatin?
green. How do you know the difference? Yes, yeah, Savannah. Green, you shake it. Good. Yeah, turn this, this way. Good. Excellent. Excellent answer. Green, you shake a G, and Gallatin's the green wave, so it gets a little wave in there. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Let's add some directions to get us to places in the community. Are you ready? Okay. We're going to use some of our classifiers. Do you guys remember talking about that? It's a representation of things that we use in English. That's right. For example, today when we talk about places in our community, we're going to establish them on a visual map in front of us and we're going to leave them there. So we're going to use our classifier claw to plop a place on the map of Hendersonville. Okay? So we're going to have a library right here. And we're going to have a Walmart right here. Now, you guys go to different schools in the area, right? So you guys can place your schools according to where the library is and where the Walmart is, right? So you guys who are from Ellis Middle School will be over here. If you are at Hawkins Middle School, you'll be over here. If you're at Indian Lake Elementary, you will be over here, right? So let's practice, okay? Put your map in front of you. Good. Library, place it on your map. Walmart, on your map. There's a road that runs in front of both of those, right? Now where on that map is your school? Can you place it? Can you think in your head what it looks like? And draw that visual map in front of you. Good. <laughs> Brody's stretching his arm back there. It's way back there. Far removed from Walmart and the library. Our Vol State friends, it's way up in Gallatin, right? Good. It's way up that road. Good. Our Merrill Hyde friends, way over here. Good. Good. Brody's getting his arm exercise in. Good. Good. Did I get all of our schools? Jack Anderson. It's way up towards Gallatin, isn't it? So it's way over here, too. We're going to get stretch our arms that way. Good. Good, Miss Natalie. Good. Good job, you guys. You all ready for our goodbye song? Ready? Look at me and say goodbye. Look at me and say goodbye. Look at me and say goodbye. Goodbye to my friends. Good job, you guys. Good. We in the sign club company want to teach sign language to everybody in our community so that our deaf friends can be just like the rest of us. They can go into any restaurant or grocery store and they can communicate with the people who work there just like we do. So all of our friends that are here today are learning sign language so that they can communicate clearly with all of our deaf friends. We invite you to join us and to learn so that we can all communicate in the same language. Early American history tells of a large deaf community on Martha's Vineyard, where everyone on the island signed, hearing and deaf. The Sign Club Company envisions a day when all of the county is the same as Martha's Vineyard. All can communicate with each other and all are able.